Let's look at accounting for notes receivable. Now, a note is more formal than an account receivable, and the face of the note has some information on it that it's like a legal contract. It requires a signing, and it will specify the following information. So there's the face amount, $1,000, the rate on the face, or the face rate, uh, 8%. It will have a date. It is dated March 1st, and there will be terms on the note six months, which might be the term to maturity. Now, on March 1st, we get this note, so we're going to debit notes receivable, and we're going to credit one of a bunch of accounts. If we're getting the note in exchange for an account receivable, we would credit accounts receivable. If we've lent someone money, then we'd be crediting cash. If we made a sale, but instead of getting an account receivable for it, the customer signed a note, then we would be crediting sales. So there's one of potentially three credits to the account, uh, to the entry, but the debit is to notes receivable for the face value, the $1,000. Now at maturity, we're going to collect the amount of the note and we're also going to uh, collect some interest. That's one of the big differences between an account receivable and a note receivable, there's a fixed term, it's a signed obligation, and there is interest. So how do we calculate interest? Uh, the straightforward computation is face times rate times time. So face value times the rate on the face times the a fraction of the year. So in this instance, it's a $1,000 note uh, receivable times an 8% rate times 6 twelfths one half year. And I like to do things over 12 since there are 12 months in the year. We're going to keep things straightforward in our class. I'm always going to be looking at interest to the month. We're not going to do anything to the date uh, or to the number of days. So 6 twelfths, March, April, May, June, July, and August. If you multiply that uh, in your calculator, you get $40 of interest. So what's going to be the entry to record the collection at maturity? So in six months, it's now September 1st. We would debit cash, and we would debit cash for $1,040, $1, which is $1,000 of principal plus the $40 of interest. We would credit interest revenue, right? We've earned interest, $40, and we would credit the note receivable because we don't have a note anymore. That asset's going away because we're collecting the cash. Credit note receivable for $1,000. Now, what if the note hadn't been dated March 1st? What if it had been dated September 1st? Then we would record the same entry, debit note receivable, and let's say it was an exchange for an account receivable, credit account receivable for $1,000. Because this uh, note is going to really span two years, right? A couple of months in the current year, September through December, and then two months going into the next year, um, what are we going to need to do at December 31st? We're going to need to record an accrual or an adjusting entry from September 1st to December 31st because we've earned some interest. Even though we're not getting any interest payment until the maturity, we've earned interest. So we need to do a calculation for how much interest we've earned. The face amount times the rate times the time. So $1,000 times the 8% on the rate on the face times only four twelfths, September, October, November, and December. So rounded, we've earned $27 of interest. And so we would record the adjustment, debit, interest receivable, $27, adding to our assets, showing that we are owed interest, and credit interest revenue, $27. So one balance sheet account, one income statement account, increasing our profits for the $27, and increasing our assets for the $27. And then at maturity, which will be at March 1st, right, so we we're going to have two more months go by into the next year, March 1st we're going to collect on the note. What's going to be the entry? Well, we're going to debit cash still for 1040 because the total interest on the note is still $40. We're going to credit the interest receivable because we're not waiting to receive it anymore. We're getting paid for it. We're going to record another $13 to interest revenue, and that represents the two months of January and February. And that's where the total interest of $40 has been broken into two pieces, a $27 amount for September, October, November, and December, four months, and a $13 amount for the other two months, January and February. And then we'd credit note receivable for the $1,000.